After you've created your roof, you might want to change to a 3D view. Right click, layer options, show snap others so that we can see the other layers as well. Here's our current view button. Let's change to a right isometric. And you notice that the roof changes to right isometric, but not the walls. This button's called the unified view button. And if you click on it, it will unify the two layers so that they sit one on top of the other. So now my roof is sitting directly on top of the walls. I'm going to go back to a top plan view because I'd like to create a perspective and I need to zoom out. So I'm going to scroll back with my mouse wheel and there's an ability under view to create a view. Set 3D view it's called. And we can click and we can look at our building, click again. Our viewer height is about 5 feet, 1500. And the look towards height is exactly the same. And there's our view. We could fit to window. So now we can see our building directly in that view. When you're setting your 3D view, if you put the viewer height at the same height as the look towards height, all the verticals in the building will be parallel. So all these verticals here should be parallel. If you look up, in other words, if your viewer height is lower than you look towards height and you're looking up, all your verticals will come together at the top. And if you're looking down, all your verticals will come together at the bottom. We can also change the perspective. On the view bar, we could choose a wide perspective, like a wide angle lens, or a narrow perspective, like a telephoto lens, or choose normal. We can also save this view. So we can click on this Views button here. We can save the view and call it View 2. You might notice I already have a View 1. And the way we can recall these views is to click on that Views menu, choose the view you want, and it brings back that view. View 2, and we'll choose View 1 again. You might notice that View 1 only shows the roof, and that's because of the settings. We can edit that view, and we can find out what's wrong with it change that to show snap others. The active layer should be level one and we should see both layers. Okay, okay, okay. Now when we use view one again, we should see the entire building again. Let's go back to a top plan view. Back to unified view. And I'm going to zoom out again. This time I'm going to use my RenderWorks camera. This is the RenderWorks camera. I can click. I can look at my building, click again, and then OK. If I activate the camera, I will see my view. So let's zoom into that as well. We'll have to use our zoom tool to zoom into this. So we just want to zoom into this area here. And the other thing you might notice is that I've got a perspective crop around here. Let's go to our utility menu here, document preferences, and we will turn off the cropped perspective. So now I can see the entire perspective. Now the camera is still activated. Here it says deactivate camera. So it's still an active camera. So if I make a change, the camera will remember where I go with this. I can fine tune the camera view and I can raise my camera I can lower my camera. I can change my look to height, pan the camera around, move the camera left and right, change the perspective view, change the distance, change the focal length, change the perspective, all sorts of things. And once you've got the view you want, deactivate your camera. Let's go back to a top plan view. Now if I double click on that camera object again, it resets the view, puts the view back again. And we can use that camera to create a viewport later on if we want. 